16. And wow, this from low power is like the best example ever. Unfortunately, the slides fade and it doesn't look as great at high power, but it doesn't get better than this from low power. Okay, so what is this? Yes, this the beautiful layering of necrobiosis like poetica diabeticorum, or sometimes people drop the diabeticorum because it's not always in diabetic patients. These are usually kind of firm atrophic plaques, which I know that's a little bit of a, a misnomer to say, but I don't know the other word to call something that's atrophic but still firm. So I think of it kind of as, as a negative plaque, if you will, a plaque that's pushed into the skin. So they are tend to be a firm kind of... Uh, 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 atrophic uh, areas often on the shins, often bilateral, but not always. And they have kind of a yellowish, reddish, brown appearance, um, depending on the case. And then when you do a biopsy, what you see is layering of degenerated necrobiotic collagen and fibrosis and sclerosis layered in with granulomas, histiocytes, lymphocytes, and plasma cells, kind of layering in all the way down through the dermis and down into the subcutis. So this is the classic, classic low power pattern for, for NLD, okay? And when you look closer, you'll see that the histiocytes, they may like make kind of well-formed granulomas. Other times they're very loose kind of lymphohistiocytic infiltrate. It kind of varies from case to case. You may see foamy, you often see foamy cells. You may see some additional lipid. There's often fat necrosis in here because it involves the fat. Some giant cells scattered in here. This is a really good example. And um, my, uh, my former colleague, Sarah Shalen, she told me something one day that I really liked. She said she kind of envisions NLD as actually being like a very big palisaded like granuloma that's a big oval kind of stretched out like for the whole plaque. And that if you punch down through it, we're just seeing like the layers of it. But at the ends, it may actually loop around. I don't know if you can visualize that. If uh, she had drawn it out on a chalkboard and I thought, oh, I love that they're like multiple kind of squashed uh, oval shaped granulomas and we're just punching down and seeing like layers of them in the middle um, because sometimes this can have some overlap with rheumatoid nodule or granuloma annulari so most of the time if it's obviously layered like this and it fits clinically it's very straightforward but occasionally I've had to also say necrobiotic palisading granuloma could be necrobiotic lipoidica but there's also overlap with rheumatoid nodule or GA again most cases it's pretty straightforward but I have had a couple that I wasn't totally uh, sure so a really, really good example of necrobiosis lipoidic.